Hi everyone. Today, let's talk more about site search. Search is the fastest and most effective way to convert visitors into buyers. One way to power your site search is never neglecting the search UI UX in the instant dropdown or the search autocomplete. This is the very first interaction between potential buyers and the site search. Doing it wrong is like leaving a terrible first impression, which can cause customers to bounce and never return. Let's discover the top 6 design tips you should use when building the interface and the experience of the search widget. Tip number 1, use the placeholder text and common visual hints wisely. First and foremost, the placement of the search bar should be at the top center or the top right corner of the page. Research shows the center position achieves the highest search usage of 15.86%. On the other hand, placement at the top left led to the worst result at 7.72%. Regardless of the position, we all agree on one visual hint for the search bar is the magnifying glass icon. This icon or the word search should be added to the search field to indicate that users can go to the search results page by clicking it. You should also allow shoppers to achieve this by hitting enter on a keyboard or go on a mobile keyboard. On the auto suggestion dropdown, it's a plus point for UI UX when you show a link at the end of the suggestions. This helps to indicate that there might be more results on the search results page. The placeholder text is another key position to communicate with shoppers. You can use it to guide visitors on what they can search for. In this case, using a placeholder text like search for product's name, etc. will be of great help. Look at the example for the queries on the search field from Rebag, a product filter and search user. Tip number two, keep the number of suggestions short and sweet. The more choices there are, the longer it takes to pick one. That's why it's harmful when you put too many suggestions in the instant search widget. The ideal number in the instant results is no more than 10 items. On mobile, so as not to overflow the user's viewport, this number should be shortlisted to 4 to 8. By doing so, shoppers can get an overview of their choices. If your search returns results in different scopes such as term suggestions, product suggestions, pages and blog posts, you should adjust the number of suggestions in each category depending on the context. You can customize the instant search display in Boost Product Filter and Search App. Tip number 3, Enhance Visual Depth on the Search Autocomplete Design. Your website definitely doesn't have only the search feature. Visual depth on the instant search widget gives it a little more weight when surrounded by distracting elements. Consider adding a subtle shadow or dimming the background to make searchers focus on the autocomplete feature and move more smoothly into product exploration. For example, Boeing store darkens the background when customers use the instant search feature. Another way to keep the user's full attention to search is to use the overlay full width layout, just like this. Tip number four, highlight the search suggestion on hover. Customers tend to skim through the list of suggestions. Therefore, clearly identifying the active suggestion, which is the one they are looking at, is a plus point for UI UX. It keeps the shopper on track and avoids misclicking. Without the highlight, customers won't know where they are on the suggestion list when using their keyboard for navigation. For example, on hover or navigated by keyboard, the active suggestion on Orca will change the color and a background shading for emphasis. Additionally, you should think about using the hand cursor when the user hovers over the autocomplete recommendations. This makes it crystal clear that clicking these links will launch a search results page. Tip number 5, implement visual merchandising on the search autocomplete. The instant search widget offers product suggestions and search autocomplete, which can be very useful for visual merchandisers. Just by showing the product images in the search dropdown, you give the shoppers a preview of what they are about to purchase. And this helps them in their decision-making process. Alluring imagery in the instant search is a shortcut to lead customers to the product page. They can then explore the item in detail, and finally purchase it. With just one single click in product filter and search settings, you can show product images in the search autocomplete. Tip number 6, differentiate between the original input and the rest. Many e-commerce sites do not make a distinction between the query entry with a related predictive suggestion, which burdens the visual load for the searchers. In this case, they need to scan through the suggestions one by one to identify the best match. The search UI UX tip you should apply here is to make the predictive components bold. It will draw shoppers' attention to the query possibilities, assist them in filling in the blanks, and allow them to skip over repeated terms and spend less time reading. Do you have any tips to optimize the search UI UX in the instant dropdown? The first impression usually lasts the longest, so make sure you spend resources to design an optimal search autocomplete widget. Thanks for your watching.
And if you like our video, please subscribe to our channel for more valuable content in the future. See you in next videos.